In late 2022, Brad Pitt initially ignited a romantic relationship with the glitzy jewelry designer Ines de Ramon. After spending a great summer together abroad, the 60-year-old Fight Club star and the 34-year-old beauty are reportedly very happy now, almost two years later. They have been having fun at Chateau Miraville, the French winery that Brad and his ex-wife, Angelina Jolie, once enjoyed for the past few months. They've spent a lot of time there because Brad has been working in Europe, a source close to the couple revealed on Saturday. The insider continued, He's serious about Ines. He loves spending time with her and is extremely happy. She is amiable and well-liked by all. Brad and Ines have been romantically linked since November 2022, but they have hardly been seen together in public. On the sunny fourth day of the Venice Film Festival on Saturday, however, the pair separated by a significant age gap arrived in style. At the annual event, the actor who will be making his feature film debut alongside George Clooney, Wolfs, caught everyone's attention with his bright yellow checkered pants. Brad covered his eyes with aviators to complete the dapper appearance, accessorizing with a yellow loafer and a fine white shirt. In the meantime, Ines looked effortlessly stylish with a white blouse and high-waisted beige skirt. She carried her necessities in a leather handbag, accessorized her frame with heels, and wore shades as well. After strolling along the pier, the couple jumped into a water taxi and put on a romantic show, with the Fight Club star putting his arm around the stunning woman. Somewhere else Brad's co-star George, together with his gorgeous spouse Amal, were photographed taking a romantic boat ride. Their arrival coincides with the revelation that Brad and his ex-wife, Angelina, had been spending the summer at Chateau Miraville, a French winery. The estate has been at the center of a protracted and acrimonious divorce fight involving the two Oscar winners. Brad has made time to spend with de Ramon at the winery, despite his solo travels this season, which included a visit to close buddy George and his wife Amal in Lake Cuomo. Insider reported on Friday. The reports claim that he has been working on his upcoming film, F1, and that he was also spotted riding a motorcycle in Iceland. Reunited in Marival in 2014, Brad and ex Angelina were together for years before they got married. Maddox, 22, Pax, 20, Zahara, 19, Shiloh, 18, and the twins, Knox and Vivian, 15, are the six children they have together. On August 1st, Jolie's side filed a new motion, escalating the former couple's heated legal struggle over the chateau. Sources claim they paid almost $60 million in 2012 for the retreat near Corins, France. The vast property even served as the venue for the Hollywood A-listers' 2014 nuptials. It happened when they acquired a majority interest in the vineyard in 2008. In October 2021, Jolie sold her share, which infuriated Brad. Pitt asserts that Jolie sold despite their previous agreement that neither would sell their share without the other's consent. Tenuta Del Mondo of the firm Stoli Group won the piece that the Maleficent actress put up for auction in February 2022, according to court documents. Pitt responds by saying that his business, Mondo Bongo, is entitled to the right of first refusal from Jolie's previous investing firm, Nouvel. After their split, Brad's connection with Angelina's children is tense. Zahara is the first of them to have removed his last name from their monikers recently. After Vivian and Shiloh made the same decision, the veteran actor is now basically no touch with his grown children. He seldom ever interacts with the grown children. An insider revealed earlier this summer that his engagement with the younger kids is more limited in recent months due to his filming schedule. After five years of marriage, Angelina filed for divorce from the star in 2019. Later, they got into a contentious back and forth about NDAs, which has turned into a focal issue of their conflict. In order to allow their family to heal, Jolie has urged Pitt to end the fighting and to withdraw the lawsuit against her. The Babel actress, according to insiders, has no intention of withdrawing it, and she only made the request after discovering her case may not be as strong as she had previously believed. Brad won't be dropping this lawsuit. Why would he? This was a very typical commercial conflict, but regrettably, According to someone familiar with the circumstances, Angelina has been bringing up personal issues that belong in a divorce court.